the Anycubic Viper is quick and easy right out of the box. Um, a little bit of their advertisement for the printer. I'm by no means uh, sponsored by Anycubic or anything like that. Um, I only have three printers myself and they're all different printers, but uh, thought I'd do a little review on the Viper that I just got the other day. And we'll just start with out of the box, this thing's ready to rock and roll pretty much. There were seven screws all together to put it together. And um, after you have it screwed together, you can, of course, everybody make sure your power switch is at 115 or 230, depending on what your what your system is. But right out of the box, you can get into the the menu here, and the menu is very easy, and it's touch screen, and it's uh sorry, my fingers are not quite working properly. It's very easy just to hit the leveling button. And then straight out of the box, it's going to heat up and then level at 16 points across the bed. After that, it's simply print. And um, there's no Z offset uh, plus or minus needed. This thing is uh, about as easy as it gets. Um, I want to go over a couple of the features why I bought this printer over another Creality Ender 3, which is a very good budget printer that does good quality work okay so um one of the first things that i like quite a bit is that the drive mechanism that feeds the filament has two driven gears instead of one driven gear and a roller so i feel like this is a lot more positive and there's less uh slipping and it's a lot more accurate while we're on accuracy it has two um z screws which is super good okay rather than just relying on one side to go up and then the other side just be a follower they're both being um, driven up that's a huge plus to this printer um very very simple just a filament runout sensor that i like on this printer a lot and then of course that auto bed leveling is is good um, I like that it has, even though it takes a little bit more room, I like that the spool is off to the side because in all of my, my Creality printers up here, there's a terrible angle going in there. And I know that you can print something to fix that. Um, but I don't think you should have to print things to fix your 3D printer when it comes. Um, it has a nice organized toolbox with cutout foam, ready to go. And only because I'm not used to it, I think maybe a downside is, is that it has the full side SD card, but I kind of like it now that I have it. I wish uh, maybe my Enders had that instead of the micros are too easy to lose. So right out of the box, this thing does uh, level up and then just hit print and walk away. And I don't think you'll ever have to level the bed really much again. Um, there's no adjustment to it. So barring any type of big globby buildup underneath here and wrecking the bed, um, you're not going to have that problem. I really like this PEI sheet that's on this one. Everything has stuck really well, but also come off very well. So I'm a big fan of this one. On my uh, Creality Neo, which I do really like, um, I think some of the better quality prints I get is off of that thing. Um, their their bed was got destroyed pretty much immediately by pulling off the first uh, Pet G print that I did on it and this one's done a lot of pet cheap prints already um yeah I I printed something that everybody was talking about was this this cable deflector to hold this cable up so it doesn't hit this Y motor all the time and you can find that print on Thingiverse and it's very easy to add in um other than that gotta like this printer I was uh trying to get some settings uh, figured out for this thing and I didn't have much problem with PLA after I uh, found a good um, profile for Cura on the internet and I'm going to share my profiles on this video because I find a lot of people are not sharing their profiles. Uh, I'm not quite sure why, whether they think it's not going to work for somebody else and they'll get mad. So I printed a bunch of benchies and made some changes until I got um, the benchy that I that I prefer okay and this one's out of PLA um, 
the PETG Benchy. It's not like they didn't print fine, they did, but the stringing was something I wanted to get rid of. And the PETG Benty, or <laughs> Benchy, sorry, Pet G Benchy, um, was a little bit of work to get to this product, but now I'm very happy with my Pet G profile, so I'm gonna keep that. And I don't know if I just got lucky by finding somebody's good um, pro, uh, profile for flexible filament, but I did not have um, any problems at all with this flexible phone case. Um, it turned out really well, and I'll post those in the, in the description for this video. So overall, I'm very happy with that new uh, Viper. It's uh, so far so good. And I've had it for about a week and I've just been printing constantly. No bed adhesion issues whatsoever, not even close. And now that I have these saved profiles for it, I can start uh, making all the things I wanted to make with this. I hope you find this uh, video useful. And if you have one of these printers and you try out my profile and would like to make some changes, please comment in the video below and I'll be sure to try out your profile and maybe make the changes to mine. Thanks a lot.